Hello and welcome to webmastercampus.com. In this tutorial, let's learn JSON versus JSONP. Understand it with examples. So, before jumping to the examples, let's understand the theory first. So, JSON, JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. JSON is actually a standard form or format that is human readable, used to transmit or uh, transfer information from one server to another server. So it's used as a replacement of XML because it's a lightweight and easy to uh, transfer. You can transfer a huge amount of data with, with the help of JSON. So easy to handle, easy to access. Here is an example like name Traverse age colon 23 in json we separate the values using comma but uh, a key pair value like name is the key travis is the value they separate it by using a colon okay age colon 23 okay so age is the key 23 is the value salary 60000 okay so this is an example of json in contrast to json json p stand for a javascript object notation with padding okay json p is a method for sending json data without worrying about cross domain issues okay and what why we have this information uh, cross domain issue it is useful for making cross domain requests which is often otherwise forbidden by browser for security reasons so browser forbid this cross domain request and we can uh, easily access this data by using json p json p doesn't use the xml http request object so it's uh, internally it's not using the xml http and is uses the script tag so all the communication uh, happens using the script tag here is an example in this one you can see a function callback and the same information which uh, we were accessing using the json we can access it with the help of json but it will give you a callback as well so let's see an example to understand how it works okay i am inside the xamp server in the folder json versus jsonp uh, which is open in web browser let me create an index.php we also do all fi other files like json.php this is just a name for the testing purposes you can keep another and jsonp.php php okay so we have created three files let's close the explorer and index.html i'm going to create an html5 okay okay now i'm going to create an h1 and this one i'm going to write json versus json p okay. so here we go and let me refresh this page so json versus json p and it's running now I'm going to create two button because in this page we will just uh, create the HTML that will call the data from the PHP files JSON or JSONP. So let's create button. Okay, we need a button and this button will be called JSON. And in this one I'm going to write down on click. Okay, on click. Let's uh, call this uh, get json okay this is a method that we are going to define let's take a duplicate of this one and i'm uh need a duplicate let's call this json p and same here call json p let's define two breaks between them and here we go okay we are good on this one let's refresh this so we have two buttons json and call json p okay now we are going to define these functions to call the information okay let's go and uh, define the functionality of this script uh, call function okay one is we are defining json and other we are going to define is json p okay so these are the two methods that we are going to define that will contain the client functionality of our code we are also going to call use the jQuery because it's handy to call uh, Ajax call using the jQuery. Okay, so let's build some mechanism to verify the our buttons are corresponding on the click event. So uh, just called get JSON. Okay get json let me copy this and it's inside 
json p let's keep a different messaging i'm going to refresh this just open the console window so we can see the output here we go so click on call json it gives just call cat json and inside json p when i click on call json p okay so these are working fine and now i'm going to define the functionality to grab the json okay so let's define the url first that will we will be using and url is json.php and this one i will pass an information but let's keep it simple now and uh, we are going to define dollar dot get and in this one we are going to define the url okay let's call this a url uh, json it's more easy to handle it um, json okay and in this one we are going to define a function this function will accept value and status uh, that will return actually uh, and here we go with this data and once the data will be returned i would like to see what it returned using console so value will be returned inside the value and let's type find the console.log and the status which will be removed after the confirmation okay so here we go and when this will be called json p we are inside the uh, this one and we are going to define the functionality so first when it will be uh, called okay so let's first we will define the header header is the important part of because uh, it just inform what we are going to return and let's define some data and in data i am going to define some names like sam okay and david okay andrea okay these are the names when we are defined we have just defined now i am going to send this information json underscore encode and we just provide the data okay so we should be good on this one after applying the semicolon here we go now we are going to refresh this page i am just going to call json and see what it just returned it just returned me an array and it array this contain the information okay so it is a basic example how we can return the data because using a uh, php we just encode our array uh, in the json format and it just uh, represent you the data and if you would like to see uh, what it be like instead of this uh, you can just call the uh, like a uh, json.php and you can see it just open the information uh, like this the raw data something like this so we can see what it is just returning as the application is returning content type is application json and here we go with all other details but data you can see like this okay so this is how it's returning uh, the json data our application is accepting and uh, its status is successful so here we go if you would like to see uh, parse individual data that you can uh, instead of typing like this you can uh, use value dot for each and inside the for each let's define a function and function i'm defining the item or let's call this uh let's call item okay and inside the item i am going to define this and i'm going to call this an item okay so this is how we can grab all the individual value easily i'm going to fresh this call this okay so you can see i can easily access sam david andrea individually by using for each loop so this is just a basic example how we can use the json now let's move forward with the json p to understand it i'm just making some space so you guys can understand it now uh let's move towards the json p so to understand json p i'm just going to uh remove this one because we have seen it's working now define the url again and uh, let's call this url to json p and we will call this json p from using php okay and here we go so uh, we are going now we are going to call this instead of get we will call this using the ajax okay and dollar dot ajax and in this one we will provide the brackets and in this we will write down the 
details or options like URL underscore JSON P uh, is the first one the data we would like to send and the data type we have to define the data type with the help of colon we can define JSON P okay here we go so we are defining this information inside of it now uh, when we call this information from the JSON P you can see it will we can further pass any details let's uh, uh, understand this and in this we can provide the write down the PHP and I'm going to use the header header is the first stop information that you want to define it contains that JSON P will be a JavaScript in JSON please note that it was application JSON in JSON P it is JavaScript okay application slash JavaScript now uh, let's build a functionality uh, in this functionality we will accept some data let's say uh, in menu and I'm going to call this we are going to pass some information we are building a uh, ranking system like uh, in your company you got the annual uh, evaluation on the basis of annual uh, evaluation you will get some rank and, and the or based of your ranking your salary your new designation will be defined okay so I'm going to write down the functionality for this one so let's say I'm going to send the name uh, the name will be uh, let's say uh, James and the information I would like to pass over here uh, is ranking okay and the ranking is uh, will be let's suppose nine this is the information that we will pass to the JSON P inside the JSON P uh, we can easily receive these information let's say dollar name will receive the because we are sending the information uh, it's going to get to we can say name okay we'll keep inside the name then ranking inside the ranking variable okay so here we go okay on the basis of the ranking let's suppose if uh, dollar ranking equals to nine okay then what you need to do uh, you need to define the functionality of this one just an error so fix this so in this one I'm going to write down echo and we this uh, in this way I'm going to call a function promote uh, manager okay and this one I'm just going to write down the information like this over here and I'm passing using dot dot uh, dollar name and here we go so we will just pass the information inside of it okay uh, let's define the another or let's say if a ranking is eight or something or anything you can define further and so this uh, promote on nine let's promote this to director okay and on eight let's define the uh, promote to manager okay so this is just going to call two different functions that we are going to define now let's define this promote manager or promote director inside the our uh, index file and here we go so these are the just basic function that I have defined over here so you can see um, promote manager will receive a title and it will just print the information promoting a particular person to manager position with benefits promote director will print promoting a person like David Andrea to director position with benefits something like this but this is a function okay remember this in this we are JSON we will just receiving the data now this JSON P will return not the data but it will also define a we can define a functionality that can be called like a, the value that you are passing like if you pass the 9 it will call the promote director and you have this functionality over here okay let's go and refresh this and now click on this one so you can see uh, we pass James James is here and you can see a ranking and the basis of ranking it's called the promote director and promote director uh, just display this message 
okay so json p just not pass the data you can even call some uh, particular method to uh, implement the functionality even uh, we define this functions over here this is not uh, needed you can even cut this information from here and if you want you can go and just define this inside the uh, your php file that's it so you are uh, directly injecting these two functions from the server side so your uh, client side doesn't have have the functionality on the basis of value that you are passing uh, you okay so it's uh, like you can also see it's saying it's injecting a script from the server side because we don't have this script on the local machine or the client side so you can see how easy it is to uh, understand JSON versus JSONP okay thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe my channel